Green Sky Growers is a state-of-the-art rooftop greenhouse owned and operated by Aquatic Ecosystems. It is used as a research and development facility and is also a working farm. Our goal is to promote sustainable farming and sustainable living. Produce cultivated at Green Sky Growers is available for sale at the Winter Garden Farmers Market every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. As you enter the greenhouse, everyone walks through a foot bath. Inside the foot bath is a sanitizing solution that will disinfect your shoes for any pests or diseases that could be transported on the bottoms. Here we have the seating tables. Seating tables are an ebb and flow system that are set up on a timer to flood the trays every three hours. The trays will stay flooded for approximately two minutes and then drain back down to the sumps. There are individual sumps underneath each one of the trays. And they're also connected to a chiller that keeps the water at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of the varieties that we're currently seeding are carrots, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, celery, radishes, broccoli rabe, many different varieties of tomatoes, multiple varieties of peppers, encore lettuce, bib lettuce, green butter crunch lettuce, and many, many more. All of these species start here on the seeding table and will then be transported to various locations throughout the south greenhouse here and also on the other in the north greenhouse. Fish are a vital part of the aquaponics process. Nutrients from the fish waste are dissolved into the water. This provides the nutrients for the plants to grow. Currently, we're raising tilapia in the 1,500 gallon tanks. They're currently stocked at a rate of approximately a half a pound per gallon of water. In order to provide enough food for the fish, we feed them with automatic belt feeders. The belt is pulled back and filled with food. A clock mechanism on the side slowly winds the belt and the food is dropped into the tank. Once the seedlings have grown large enough on the seeding table, some are transplanted into the NFT trays located over the fish tanks. NFT stands for Nutrient Film Technique. This is where a small film of nutrient-rich water from the fish tanks is pumped to the top of the trays, flows down to the bottom gutter, and then down to the tanks. Currently in our NFT trays, we are growing a variety of lettuce. We have Encore, Bib, Green Oak, Red Oak, Red Galactic, and Romaine. All trays are seeded on the left and harvested on the right of the rack. This way we can harvest approximately 80 to 100 heads of lettuce every week. For the filtration process, the water from the tanks travels to a small sump. This sump contains standpipes which control the level of the tanks. From the small sump, water travels through the mechanical drum filter. Here, a 60 micron screen filters out all of the solid waste. Water then travels into the large sump. Here, sodium bicarbonate is added automatically based on pH readings received from our computer monitoring. From the large sump, water travels in three directions. First, it travels from the sump through our system pump, through the heat exchanger that keeps the water temperature at 75 degrees, and then out to the biological filters. From the filters, it's a gravity feed back to the tanks. Second, since our stocking density is so high, we have a second pump that pumps water from the sump out to an oxygen saturator, which oxygenates the water and then is sent back to the tanks. Finally, water is pumped from the sump up to the top of the NFT rack where it drips down the NFT trays. In our 3,500 gallon tank, we have a two inch thick foam board floating on nutrient rich water. There are holes drilled into the board and the crops are planted into these holes via net pots. The roots go through the pots directly into the water. The water is recirculated via a pump, but there are also six diffusers placed in the tank hooked up to an air pump in order to provide adequate aeration to the roots. The greenhouse climate is also controlled automatically. As temperatures increase or de decrease, or wind speeds pick up, the walls will automatically open or close as needed. If it begins to rain, the walls and roof will close and fans will come on to maintain circulation. If it gets too cold, the heaters will start up. If it gets too hot in the greenhouse, the shade cloths will close. All of these factors are measured by a weather station located on top of the building. Thank you for watching our video showing the south side of the Green Sky Growers rooftop greenhouse. For more information, visit our Green Sky Growers and Aquatic Ecosystems Facebook pages or email ponics at aquaticeco.com. Also be on the lookout for our follow-up video which will showcase the north side of our greenhouse.